Let's talk about weight cells, yo. So I um, did some tests with the other pair of weight cells that I uh, that I have, and I finally got them to work. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to do it yourself. Uh, but first, we're going to extend uh, these wires since they are too short for my project, and I want them to be longer. So I'm going to uh, take the uh, the roll of uh, uh, jumper cables without any uh, connector scrimped onto them. And I'm just going to measure the length, uh, the extension length from the other weight cells. So that's one pair. Now of course you uh, you want four pairs because you've got four weight cells that uh, need to be extended. And this is also a very good uh, method to get the, uh, the top of your roll back to length. Because it's all messed up um, after a while of use. Quick update on the windmill. I just ordered a new uh, motor, new generator motor. It's got a KV of 140. So that means 1 volt per 140 uh, RPMs per RPMs. So I think that should, uh, should be enough uh, in order to generate some uh, electricity. Oh, by the way, I soldered a, a perf board. Basically, it's just a breakout board for all the connectors, except the A- minus and B positive, because we don't need that. Uh, of course, heat up your soldering iron and grab one of the extension things, crimp them, all three at the same time, you should do. Then separate the wires from each other. Then I'd like to use uh, the wire holder and place it inside the wire holder. Then grab a load cell and make sure that all the wiring is the same length as it's not here. Like this. And then also crimp load cell wiring uh, place that oh wait first that's the thing I always forget get some heat shrinks and shove them over all of your load cell wires because yeah, I forgot it a few times and then you need to unsolder them and soldering these wires is... Well, it's not a pain in the, uh, in the butt, but there are easier things to do. Make sure that the two wires are kind of touching each other. Get your soldering iron. Get your solder. And solder them together. Now you might need to uh, make a few adjustments. Like this. Now remove them from the, the wire holder. Give it a bit of a pull. And uh, it's finished. They are soldered. On to the next one. Now I recommend that you uh, follow the uh, order of the wires, uh, but it does not really matter that much if you don't. Um, you just need to be sure that you place the correct wire in the correct position on your breakout board. So you need to do this for all four uh, load cells. And boom! With the magic of video editing they're all done. Now that uh, that's complete, on to the next part which is actually connecting them to the to each other and to the breakout board. And in order to do so we need to have a schematic. Now I will post a link in, to the schematic in the description down below and we also need the load cell holders that are created for my specific 
goal with these things. So I can post them down below, but I'm not sure if um, if you've got the same goal. Because I'm going to use this to measure um, if in my bed, if I am in my bed or not. So that when I get out at night, um, I can turn on the lights very briefly in my room. But yeah, I do need a bed sensor for that. So, so um, place them inside these things like shown here, upper left, upper right, lower left, lower right. And because I designed this to fit underneath my uh, bed legs. I need to place them with the actual weight point towards each other, but that shouldn't really matter. Now uh, all uh, wires, ends of the wires need to be crimped and soldered, and of course you need this breakout board. Uh, start with the upper left and basically follow the wiring. Now if you came to the conclusion that it doesn't work after you followed the wiring, redo it. Because 10 out of 10 times uh, I've experienced uh, issues with wiring. You know, there's lots of wires uh, to connect. And if it doesn't work, 10 out of 10 it's your wiring. So, so grab a Arduino Uno or something else. And I just removed the leads from another breakout board so I can just shove them in if the terminals are open all right I'll post the uh, the wiring in the description so no worries so connected I've placed the load cells um, beneath a wooden plank so on the computer configure your uh, pins D out is pin 2 or pin 3 on the Arduino, sorry, and uh, SCK is pin 2. You want to uh, weigh something uh, that you can place on top of the load cell you just created. So I've got two hard drives, put it on a real load cell, 12, 12, 12, 11 grams. So we get go with 1211. Now obviously connect a USB cable and also connect the other end. Pro tip. Now upload the code. If you've got something like a wooden plank on top of it, make sure it's on there before the sketch starts. Alright, starting. So now the, the setup is complete, place your weights on top of the thing and type in your weight with a dot zero and if you press enter you can see a calculated calibration value in this case it's minus 23.13 press Y to save it and now you can see that your load cell is working because if I remove it, it drops down and if I place it, it goes back up. Now, if I remove this, climb onto my desk and stand on it, you can see that the weight increases badly. And that's because it's working. So now, finally, we've got a working load cell arrangement. Finally, it's 50 kilograms per load cell. So this setup uh, is capable of measuring uh, 200 kilograms. But you can just measure a few grams with it. Uh. So you need to apply a little bit of averaging to the values that uh, come from the ADC. But once you've done that, uh, the values uh, should be fine. So that's uh, how to connect the, uh, the load cells to the HX711. I hope you find this video interesting and I hope you find it as exciting as I did to finally have them working. Because basically they're a real pain. And uh, they're finally working. 
So thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time.